Hey everybody down here from Stuff Phone Scammers and we're back with another video. So to begin, this video actually took place about two weeks ago. Uh, last week I didn't get a video out because I was working on a paper. Um, school year is kind of closing in so for some reason teachers love to tack on projects right at the end of the year which I don't quite understand. So I've been working on that and then of course I have as usual work uh, in the way of things too. So that's why you haven't seen a video uh, in three weeks. And then uh, in the video, I actually explain uh, the week prior to last week why I didn't upload a video that week either. So just I'm just full of excuses at this point. <laughs> so anyway, this this company was a pretty interesting company. Um, <clears throat> did various tactics. We got to sat, sit through an entire uh, session here where he claimed he was cleaning up the computer, but really didn't. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, you'll, you'll hear me mention here at the beginning of the video um, that we did a presentation, that I was doing a presentation. The presentation is over, obviously. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have saw the pictures already. But um, that video will soon follow this video uh, uploaded. Um, so I did end up recording it, and um, yeah, I just, I just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. So anyway, here's the video, and I hope you all enjoy. Hey everybody, here Devin here with Stop Phone Scammers, and... Today, we're back with a brand new video. A tech support scam, for that matter. I think it's almost been a month since I've done tech support scam, I think. Something like that. Because I know I did the IRS scam and the common tactics. Um, and, I, by the way, the IRS scam video seems to be doing really well. So, I'm going to try to do more videos um, like that. IRS, MoneyGram, things like that. The only thing is, the number's a little bit harder to find. They're a tech support scam. So, I'm going to try to do a little bit more of everything um, in the coming future. Since uh, it will seem to be taking off pretty well. Especially right now, since it's tax season. Anyway, I want to apologize for not getting any video out last week. Um, I had some other things that I had to do. Um, got a new MacBook. Well, it's new new to me, but it's used. It's a mid-2012, so I was taking everything off my old Windows laptop, moving it to the MacBook. Um, obviously, I'm still using a Windows PC that I built, um, but <clears throat> I want something smaller, something that would work better. Um, and that's also my excuse for not getting a newsletter out this month. But for those of you who are subscribed to the newsletter, you already know this because I sent out an email on Sunday. So if you guys want to subscribe to the newsletter, I'll leave a link down below and you can read about it. Um, subscribe to it if you choose to. So it's supposed to be every month. Um, sometimes I miss a month. Um, but generally, I'm pretty good about it. I know, except these past two times I've missed about them for varying reasons. Um, in other news, uh, I've just found out that uh, I'll be giving a presentation on Thursday to, uh, I, I think, senior citizens. I'm not entirely sure. It's a different group that I'm talking to, but... Um, basically the same presentation, I'm just going to cut it down in about an hour, and I haven't decided if I'm going to record it yet, I probably will, but I, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, based on the way the cameras are behaving the last time, it's very, <laughs> it's up for debate. So anyway, uh, I got a brand new virtual machine here, just to throw things, or to mix things up, I got a Windows 7 machine, I'm running the uh, classic uh, theme, and uh, here we got a fake pop-up that says, um, my stuff's been stolen, and those scammers are getting so lazy that they're copying each other's pop-ups, <laughs> just throwing it all in here, just changing the phone number. Um, but anyway, it's making noises and everything else. Our network. Error number two, six, eight, D. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. So uh, anyway, one thing you want to do is never call the pop-ups. Um, if you do Control Shift Escape on your keyboard, keyboard, you open up Task Manager, and you want to right-click, uh, go to Processes. And then click end process, whatever on whatever web browser you have the um, pop up open in. And if you're in Windows uh, <clears throat> 8 and above, it's pretty much similar. Uh, let's just go over here, Task Manager. On my computer, I'm running Windows 10. Let's see if I can get it to open. Alright, so it's pretty much similar. Okay, stay open. I don't want to have to minimize you, damn it. Okay, anyway, I don't feel like dealing with this thing, I could, well... Alright, so anyway, Windows 10 is a little bit easier, just right-click, go to Details, and yeah, and then just select it. Alright, so, we're going to give this pop-up a call, and see what we get. Thank you for staying online, so you could have connected with Harry Doom. I believe you can hear me now. Yeah, and I can hear you. Am I a little better? Okay. Uh, right. Now, please tell me, like, which computer you have, sir. Um, I've got an Asus Windows 7 computer. And you are the owner of the computer? Yeah, right. Okay, sir. 
Now, what is the problem on it? Let me know about it, please. Uh, there was a pop-up that came up that says, um, my computer's been blocked, and it says, my computer's alerted us, it's been infected with the virus and spyware, and it says my Facebook login and credit card email are all being stolen, and it, and it says to call 888-369-8430, and that's what I called, and we couldn't hear each other. Okay. And uh, what is the make and the model? Like, it's a laptop or a desktop, sir? It's a desktop. It's an ASUS. And how old is the desktop? Yeah, about 2012-ish, about six years. Six years, okay. Can you please uh, look on your keyboard? Mm -hmm. On the bottom left corner of your keyboard, you have a control key that says CTRL. Yep. What is next to CTRL, sir? Uh, the Windows key. Correct. Please press the Windows key and hold it down. Okay. Only the Windows. And with that, press letter R. The Windows key down and letter R. Okay. It says, uh, something came up, it says type the name of a program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows open it for you. Correct. Now let go the keys and type in there I as an indigo, letter I. Okay. E as an echo. Right. X is an X-ray. Okay. P like Peter. All right. L is a Lima. All right. O is an Oscar. All right. R is a Robert. Mm -hmm. E is an Echo. Okay. Then give a space, a blank space. And type W W W three W's and the dot. Right. C as in Charles. Okay. B as in boy. Right. T as in Texas. Okay. Another T as in Texas. Two T's. Okay. R as in Robert. Okay. Dot. Okay. C as in Texas. Okay. K as in Kello. Okay. Now, now click on OK, sir. Under that, I say OK. All right. Hit that, please. All right, something's open. Now, what options do you have? Oh, what it says? Uh, it's loading something. It says establish support connection. That's correct. And it's asking you for your name. I believe, right? Yeah. Can you please type in your name through your first and last, and I'll be generating a support key for you. Okay, I got my name in there. Sure. <coughs> and the support key, it's numbers. It's mm -hmm. 613. Okay. 911. Right. Two, 247. Now click continue, please. Alright. Alright, so I'm still moving something. Now what happened? It says download and go to assist. Mm hmm. Just now on the bottom down, do you see any option that they run, save, and cancel? Yeah, but it's still downloading something. Okay, I clicked on run. Okay. Alright. Now it says go to opener, and it says initializing. Mm hmm. Install or don't go to assist. Okay.
Someone says starting. Process here. Is there any option that say okay or, or say yes? Alright, something. Alright. Alright, is this uh -huh. starting? Download. All right, I clicked on yes or okay or whatever it was, but I don't see anything else. It just says starting. Well, let me know if we get any options over there. Alright, I clicked on all the positive, but it just, it went down to the little thing and it says starting. Mm-hmm. Right now it says verifying support key. Now it says connecting. All right, you you might be getting my name there. Click on yes, please. Okay. All right. All right, click yes. Perfect. Right. I really appreciate wanted by you, sir. All right. And I'm connected now. You, you can see I'm moving your mouse, right? That's neat. All right, cool. All right, you can stay relaxed now. Just watch on the screen. Let me figure out the things. Okay. I can see how one of the very good computers I have, like Windows 7, right? Yep. It's 2009, and... With the 4 gigabyte of RAM, 64-bit operating system, i5. It's a good one, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks. I appreciate and it. And if I talk about the computer, right, thank you. Mm -hmm. And the life That's of a computer is around more, more than 15 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can still use it for like 7 to 8 more years. It's a good one, sir. Yeah. So I'll go back to your home screen. So how many computers do you have? This is the only one, or you have more? Yeah, this is the only one that I have. Okay, I'm running a scan for you. Okay. So, is, is your name Richard? Yeah. Okay. Directory of, directory of, directory of. <laughs> so where are you located, sir? With city, with state? Um, Pennsylvania. It's a good place. And how's the weather out there? Uh, fairly decent, I guess. Could be better, could be worse, like, you know. Right. Okay, uh, it's a bad, uh, like, a result here. I'll request you to please read it. Uh, let me scroll it here. Okay. 
Uh, can you please check that on the bottom down, the highlighted one? Okay. The user Richard, virus found, computer at risk, security not found, driver stopped. Took the words out of my mouth. Do you want me to still read it? I'm sorry, what was that? Did you want me to read it out loud? Is that what you wanted? No, just read to yourself. Okay, is that, I'm assuming that's a bad thing then. Right, your drivers uh, got stopped, and uh, I believe you have an idea what are the drivers, correct? Yeah. Uh, you know what? It? I think so, I think they just sort of drive the computer, I guess. Right, they're the programs, right. When I go here to the software, software computer, under that here I look to the system drivers, and... Let me show you the status. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you got the computer serviced? Yeah. I've, I've never had it serviced. Okay, these are all the drivers in the computer. They all, it has like more than 500 drivers on it. And the status is stopped. You see them all yeah, over here? Yeah, I see that. I believe you notifying that from past few days the computer seems to be working a little slow. Is that right? Um, yeah, I've noticed, yeah, a little bit lately, yeah, it's been slowed down since... since Something, time. or it freezes some time. Yeah. And you're not using any kind of antivirus and security, any firewall on it? Uh, I'm using the security essentials. <clears throat> okay, and that's a Windows protection, right? That's not a paid one. The one you're using that's like Windows Defender, and it's a good one, you, you should have one like that, but it's not capable to protect you from all the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. That does not have a complete layers, right? Okay. That makes sense to you, sir, the result says yeah, virus found computer at risk. Yeah. So you're not supposed to have a virus as if you have a good security, right? Okay, yeah. So I'll request you to please upgrade to the paid version to a good security if you want a good life of the computer. This computer can work good for more like 8 to 10 years if you take care about the security system, sir. It's needed. Okay. All right. Give me a moment here. Oh, you have like 27 infections on the computer. All the errors warning here for the date and time. Okay. Wow. Well, in this situation, sir, we need to assign a technician for your help. Okay. And just a moment here. Okay, so we need to assign a technician here to remove a virus to clean up to fix the issues for you. Okay. And we need to activate your security program, sir. That is something which needs to be purchased from a store. Okay. It has a different time period. It depends upon you for how long you want to activate. You want to go with a long time, with like five years or ten years, or you can even activate for three years. Well... I prefer not to have the issue again, so I, the longest time possible would be preferred. Give me a moment, please. Let me check out the browsers. Okay. I'm tapping what all needs to be done here, a cleanup and a repair. Okay. We need to fix all the issues for you. We have to remove all the viruses 
we have to update the drivers. That will take one hour, sir. You have to make sure for the next one hour you don't use your desktop computer, leave it alone. Okay. Activate your Windows security system. That will be an antivirus and a network firewall. That is an anti-hacking tool. Okay. And the anti-malware. There's a one-time charge for it. Right. Let me correct it. I'm sorry. I accept the times we call that. Okay. So it depends upon you, sir. You can activate for the ten years, five years, and even for three. Years. On your email account, you'll be getting all the paperwork, all the documentation okay. with your customer ID. I'll be providing you with that with the future help numbers. I'll be giving you that also. Can you please tap your email address here on your notepad? Yeah. I can hear myself back, like it's a very bad connection. Are you on the speakerphone? Uh, no, just microphone. All right, now give me a moment. Let me check out the processor. Okay. And in case if you are a senior citizen, there will be a discount, but I believe you're not, correct? No. Not sounds like that. All right, give me a moment here. My soul is low. We talk for the complete five years. That's four ninety nine dot ninety nine cents, sir. Okay. For the five years, but you're talking about the long time, correct? You think for the ten years? Yeah, yeah, because I really don't. Ten years. Go through all this again. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Because I really don't want to have to go through all this again. No problem. The ten year will be a complete peace of mind with seven nine nine dot ninety nine cents, sir. Okay. And there is one more option that goes for a lifetime. In a lifetime, what happens? You get a warranty of this computer for the 10 years. It's not this desktop. It's an old one that cannot work for a long time. But you get a lifetime security system. That means you buy a new one. You don't have to pay any single penny. You get a lifetime feature support. You don't have to pay any technician amount for the feature also. Okay. Right. And that used to cost nine 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 dot ninety nine cents, sir. That's also the option. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll go with the lifetime, I guess, because like I said, I really don't want to have, you know. Right. That would not be a problem, sir. And uh, how many computers do you have in your house? Like two, three? Just one. Only this one. Okay. Can you please tap your name, your first and the last name, please? On the notepad. Yep. Okay. All right. The home address, please. I'm trying to type the word address, but it does not work. That's fine. I get it. Put my bad. Okay, so give me a moment here. And I'm giving you customer ID, sir. You can place that down. Okay. B as in boy, S as in Sam. B as in boy, S as in shit. 
Let me correct that. 0603. Okay. R is in Robert, D is in David. That's a personal customer ID, sir. Okay. Bullshit 0603 Richard Dilly Dot. Okay. Correct. And for the payment, sir, you can use the check for the payment. Will that be okay? Um, no, because I actually don't have any checks on me. Okay, so you like to make a payment using a card? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Give me a moment, sir. Just stay online. Let me confirm with my billing department, and we'll start over with the payment process. Okay? Give me a second, please. Thank you. Yep. Stay online, sir. All right. Thank you so much for being online there. My name is Jake Dawson, a billing manager from Business Solutions Windows team. Okay. Am I speaking with uh, Richard? Yep. Hey, good evening, Richard. How are you doing today? Uh, pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, uh, I get to know about your computer case today. Yeah. Right? One of my technician, Harry Jones, was helping you for more than 30, 50 minutes because today your computer is really badly messed up. You know that, right? Yeah. As well as the operating system of your computer, it's quite old. So you do have something wrong with your computer. There are some spyware and malware which we found on your machine. So we are going to remove that. And we need at least 30 to 50 minutes for that because we are going to install certain software. Okay. which will give you the peace of mind that in future you won't face any kind of trouble again, right? Okay. And since you're going for the lifetime support, in future if you're going to change your computer also, so you do not have to spend a single cent, all you have to do is contact us and let us know that now you have a new computer. We will transfer the same software to your new computer, okay. right? So being a billing manager, first of all, I would request you go ahead and double check your details your name, email, phone number, so that I can register you and yep. give you the customer ID. Looks right. Everything looks good there? Yep. You already have your customer ID there. Make sure whenever you need a help, you should have this customer ID with you all the time because with the help of this customer ID only, we can pull up your records. Okay. That yes, we do have a customer with the name of Richard Deloy. Okay. And there is one more number. You can note it down. Okay. Okay. And the software which we are going to purchase for you, that is directly coming from Windows Team Business Solutions. Do not forget the name, okay? All right. Now, I have a question for you there. Yeah. Richard? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, what's, what's your question? Well, I guess something is wrong with the line, I guess. Uh, your voice is breaking up a lot. Am I at the speaker mode, by the way, Richard? No, it's just my phone's kind of crappy. So, do you, don't you have any alternate number wherein I can call you back? No. This is the only one, right? Yeah. Okay, the reason is, uh, what I'm going to tell you is, since we work under Data Protection Act, the best way to make online payment nowadays is by sending us a check. That's the only option we prefer nowadays. So if you, ha if you can grab your checkbook, I can go ahead and show you the format wherein we can go ahead and process this payment. Okay, yeah, I don't have any checks on me, unfortunately. You do not have a checkbook at the moment? No. Oh, you do not have an account. I've got my uh, debit card here. Sure, if you have a debit card, I guess you must have a checkbook because that is one of the most secure and easiest way 
No, I, I don't have any checks because I, I, don't, I don't write checks. This is in the 90s, I don't, I don't write checks. You don't use check. No. Alright. So how would you like to make payment for that? Using a debit card, right? Yep. Give me a moment. Which card you're going to use, by the way? Is that a Visa card, Master, American Express, or what? It's a Visa card. That's your email, right? Because we are going to send you a secure link in your email address. rricharddeloitte12334 at gmail.com. Am I correct, Richard? Yeah, yeah but my email is attached to my phone and I, don't, I can't access it on here. You cannot access on your computer? No. Your email? You can open that. We will do that for you. That's not an issue. Well, All you need to do is just remember the password. Yeah, that's the thing is I don't know the... Uh... Oh. The password and I can't reset it right now. You do not know the password. Yeah. We can recover that so that it will be helpful for you as well in future. Can you just open secure link just right away like, on the screen instead of emailing it to be a little bit easier? Sir, can you please repeat that? It's it's really, really terrible. I mean it's can too, you... too here properly. Can you open up the link on the screen instead just instead of emailing it, it'd be a little bit easier. I'm so sorry, sir. It's really uh, it's really hard for me to understand. Could you open up the link from like just directly on the computer? It'd be a lot sure. easier. Sure. Sure. I will do that. Hold on. Nine hundred dollars to do just that, like get rid of the issue, guys. Pop up's bullshit. I'm telling you. How old you can be, over sir? By the way, I'm twenty-two. 22 years old? Yep. Have you ever serviced this machine? No. You haven't? And is this machine registered under your name, Richard? Yeah. Okay. This is the only browser you have, Microsoft Firefox. Don't you have any other browser like Internet Explorer or maybe Google Chrome? I've got uh, Internet Explorer too. <clears throat> Please bear with me, okay? Let me just show you the email first, whether it's working or not, because we have to show you the email wherein we will mention that we are the technical team of your computer and whenever you need help you can contact us for help okay well it's not working but can you just open it up it just be much easier i mean you know it will sure but what's what's what is holding you back it will hardly take you one minute that's it because I, I just don't want to deal with it right now that's why you don't want to do right now i don't want to deal with figuring out the password i just if you can open up the link that'd just be much easier Okay, hold on. Which card you're going to use for the payment for it? Uh, Visa.
I thought there was a, a link you wanted me to open, or you were going to open or something. No, since your computer is very badly infected, so we cannot open the link of the payment gateway in your computer. That's it. Okay, but you want me to open my email. Alright. Makes complete sense. So, let's see. Four, nine. Double check your details once again. Looks good. And uh, the name which appears on your card is Richard Deloy. Del uh, oh, actually, let me add this because I know you're going to ask me about it later when the card doesn't go through. Okay, that's a middle initial. And the number which would be 814 All right. Now, please do me a favor. Let me know one thing here. Whenever you restart your machine, do you require any kind of password to get into your machine? No. Because we need to restart your machine in order to double... Are you sure about it? Yeah. In order to fix your machine, in order to install the software properly, we need to restart your machine a couple of times. So you're sure that you do not require any password to get into your machine, right? No, there's no password. Perfect. All right. So, first of all, we are going to fix your computer. Okay, it will hardly take 30 to 50 minutes, and then we will charge the payment, and we will send you everything in your email. But how will you check that? From your cell phone? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I would request you, please, leave your computer as it is for at least, you can say, 50 to 60 minutes. Is that okay with you, Richard? Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Make sure nobody is going to touch your computer from now, okay? You can grab a cup of coffee or a glass of water and sit in front of your machine so that you can see the work. Once the work is done, we'll call you back and let you know that your computer has been fixed now. Okay. All right? All right. Thank you. Thank you so much Bye. for your time. Have a good day ahead. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can... Do you have any... Do you have any alternate number wherein I can call you, or this is it? This is the only one. This is the only one. I should set up another one, though, to be honest. Alright, thank you so much. Have a good day. Yep. Alright, so, um... Um, anyway, um... So a couple things about this gamer in particular. Uh, so I looked at the second number he gave me, and it's the LB Solutions Tech Sports Scam. Um, I, I don't know if this is the same company. Um, the number could have been changed. I might look at that here in a minute. And uh, but anyway, I just find it interesting that if if it's still the same company, then <laughs> he's trying to get into my email. He just cannot get over the fact that he can't get into my email. So sad. I don't know who's going to do Log Me and Rescue. So, this is actually kind of perfect. So, th this company has done um, a lot of the same scams that I was actually just talking about in my uh, latest scammer tactic video. And something that scammers usually do when they're fixing your computer is they'll open up um, a second. I guess, what do you want to call it, like, thing to connect to your computers, for whatever reason, I don't know why, and if they use two things, you want to make sure they're both gone, uh, when you kick the scammer out of your computer, you want to make sure you kick them out two times, and I don't know if they do this so they can have, it. I don't know why they do this, I really don't, there could be varying reasons to have another person connect at the same time, or if they get to connect from one, they can still be connected, I don't know, but, uh, a good indication, let's see, now I can grab his IP address. I haven't had to grab a scammer's IP address in a long time. Let's see if I can actually grab one. But anyway, I'm going to go silent and uh, watch you. I'm probably going to speed this part up until we get towards the end. I'll speed it up a little bit and then I'll just kind of talk about what they did. 
or we'll, we'll come back to yours. So anyway, I'll shut up. Oh, so now we got another name here, Techno IT Solution. This is interesting. All right, so I'll just silent myself.
Okay, so let's take a second here. Remember the stuff that he said he was going to do. And one of the things he said he was going to do was install an anti-hacking tool, which, by the way, doesn't exist. Um, some other anti-spyware, anti-malware type thing. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but let's just keep that in mind with the stuff that he installs and what he puts on this machine. Let's keep that in mind what he said he's going to do and what he's actually doing. So let's keep, keep that in mind. I love how that says scam ads. <laughs>
So let's keep this straight so far with what he's done. So far he's installed some sort of ad block tool on Firefox. And now he's going to install some sort of ad block tool on um, <clears throat> Internet Explorer. It looks like he's also downloading a free version of CC Cleaner. And I have no idea what this adware removal tool is, but we'll see. If it's actually a legit tool, I'll tell him there's no adware on this machine. And he knows this because there isn't. It's a perfectly clean virtual machine. I mean, this is the first time you're using it. I mean, it's perfectly clean. Anti-spyware definitions are up to date. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Whatever he just opened caused uh, security essentials to actually open up and flag it. So he actually just installed some sort of threat on the machine. Security essentials just squashed whatever he just put on. Uh, so I find that a little interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of curious as to what that auto runs is. Um, that's definitely interesting. Um, so in other words, he's doing the exact opposite of what he said he was doing. So this looks like, oh, I guess it, as it sounds, some sort of auto run thing. And now you can see VMware in the keylogger. Kind of curious what he's going to do with this.
Okay, that's interesting. So, okay, I figured it out now. So he's trying to install uh, a cracked version of Crap Cleaner. I'm guessing a cracked version of the, um, like the the full version, but it's cracked. I think that's what he's trying to install. Um, and maybe the same thing for well, I don't think Cleanup has a full version, but I might not be right about that. I don't know. I just find it kind of interesting. <laughs> That's a little interesting, error in warrancleaner.bat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people actually believe this too, which is upset, very upsetting. And for those of you who don't know what a batch file is, basically a batch file is a custom made program, it's basically a command prompt program, and you can do different codes and make it display different things. I've had this kind of happen in different videos, and I've talked about it before, and once I get towards the end of this video, I'll uh, talk about this too, look at the code of it, and uh, see what it says, it could be kind of, I'm kind of curious about this one. Well, this is a free version, so I'm kind of curious as, as to what's still setting off the uh, security essentials.
Oh, wait, never mind. Um, I just thought of something. The uh, CC cleaner that he may have put on um, probably is cracked, but I realized that I already have one installed, so maybe he just opened that one. That, that just occurred to me just now. So, <laughs> anyway. Still back on the story that that thing was cracked. That's my conclusion.
So he just set a password for uh, unattended reboot. Um, I'm guessing this is way so he can get in anytime he wants to. Um, or it could be another well, syskey. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I've never actually. Uh, I've seen scammers do it before, but I've never actually seen the results, so. Uh, kind of curious to be the way. It's something that I definitely shouldn't be doing. Should not be setting a password for anything. What we've all been waiting for. I did that because I kind of got tired of sitting there waiting. I made my screen go black on me. This is definitely interesting, whatever it is.
changing the icon make it look more legit, I guess. I'm not sure. Very interesting, though. Oh, look at that, I still has found nothing.
How rude, just going around rage raging the damn icons.
I love how he just fills us out. Apparently he's telepathic and can decide whether or not I'm satisfied with services. <clears throat> There's a good chance that that address that's listed is the uh, <clears throat> owner's house. The call center is based in India, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, look at this real quick. That does appear to be, of course, one of the solar panels. <laughs> I don't know, it could also be just a random house, too, so.
go ahead and open the notepad so we can see what he didn't do. I love how he just signs it for me too. Alright, I'm gonna call back now. I'm tired of sitting here. Thank you so much for calling Business Solution. My name is Mark. Uh, is that Mr. Richard? Yep. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm the technician who is, uh, who is working on a computer right now. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the work is done. Now you can check the computer and let me know if everything's working fine or not. Okay, what is this? Is this like the uh, receipt or something? I'm sorry? Is this like a receipt? Yeah, this is a document from where you will get information related to me. The toll fee number, right. customer ID, and everything. Okay. okay? Right. Yes. So now, uh, everything is done. The security has been installed on your Google Chrome, your other browsers that were there on the computer, right? The Mozilla Firefox Internet Explorer. Okay. All right. Okay. Gonna... So, uh, what you need to do, I just need to provide you a document related to the services that would come up on your email, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I cleared the history. I cleared the history and all. Okay, I'm just kind of curious. Mm -hmm. So we just need to clear these history that were detected later. Okay, all right. 
Yeah, just give me a moment to remove them all. Okay. Okay, no, I'm just looking at what was on here. Mm -hmm. We need to mark them one by one, and then we can remove them. So is everything fixed now? Did you, like, did you did you fix all the drivers and everything? Get rid of the virus? Yes, the drivers and everything is fixed now. You can go ahead and check the computer and let me know if you face any problem. I will let, I will be going to tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just kind of looking around here. Everything looks the same still, so I guess. System info here. It's refreshing the system information, so you need to uh, wait for some time. Okay. Mm -hmm. The drivers were installed and all the drivers are refreshed for this time, so you just need to wait for a moment. Okay, why are they all stop still? Sir, this is the process like I activated the feature, like if you will open any software, like if you would open the webcam, the webcam, then the service would start, right? Because the speed of the computer is too slow, that is why it is, uh, I activated them ma on manual basis. You see the manual? Yes. So, like, the computer is too slow, the memory is not there. So that is why we, I enabled a feature. If you would enable, if you would open any software, like if you would open any camera, or if you would open the voice recorder in the computer, then only the service would start automatically. Okay, okay? so <clears throat> you changed it from auto to manual then? Uh, so, yes, these are all the manual softwares which will, like, look, let me show you. No, I mean, just, so you, you changed them to like from man, like from automatic to manual. Is that what you did? Yes. Okay. All right. Because when I remembered all earlier, right. they were all still on manual. So, okay. So mm -hmm. this has gone on long enough. I know this is a scam. Everything you said is a lie. Everything you've done is a lie. You said that you're going to install an antivirus. You didn't do that. The most you did was install a bunch of ad blockers. Uh, you installed this adware removal tool thing, which found nothing, by the way. Um, you try to, from my understanding, you try to uh, put on a cracked version of Crap Cleaner, and actually, you installed some sort of malware on here. You tried putting some form of malware on here because Malware Bytes actually, or uh, Security Essentials uh, detected it. You said you're going to put a network firewall and anti hacking tool. There's no such thing as an anti hacking tool. You do not put a firewall in here at all. Uh, you said you're going to put on some sort of anti malware thing. You didn't do that either. So, you're going to remove all the viruses. Can you show me the viruses you removed? Because I, I've been sitting here watching you the whole time. This has been recorded, and you didn't remove any viruses. And also, you didn't update any drivers either. These are completely normal to be stopped. These services are supposed to be stopped. Like, for example, the AMD processor driver. I don't have an AMD processor, so why would that be running? These all don't need to be running at the same time. And these are always on manual. You did not change Sorry, anything. You? Everything you've done has been recorded. I've called you before. You've been under the name of LB System Solutions. Now I've got your different name. Let's see... You got techno IT solutions. You got business solutions, and what was the point of setting a um, a login password for unattended reboot? What was the point of that? I kind of want to know that too. So just keep in mind that everything you've done has been recorded. So just keep that in mind from the very beginning. I'm still recording right now a whole two hours of this. So would you have anything to say? What's with this batch file, too? I don't understand. What's the point of this? Like, this does nothing. This batch file actually clears all the junk files from the computer, so the computer runs faster. I don't... I mean... This, I mean, this really isn't nothing. I don't, I don't understand. But anyway. But you did nothing as you promised. Um... 
it's beeping. And you, you've lied to me the entire time. And you have multiple aliases. I called you a year ago. Uh, and you, you pretty much did the same thing. And I also love how you did the signature thing. You just, like, went ahead and, like, did all this without me, like, intervening at all. You just decided to sign my name and, you know, different things like that. I thought that was kind of interesting. You called us a year ago as well? Yep. And you're doing the same thing. I don't remember. That's because it was a year ago. If you did remember, you wouldn't have gotten the call with me. What's your name? My na Well, my name wouldn't make a difference. You wouldn't remember anyway. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> no problem. That's not. So, what you are going to do now? Are you going to again post this video? <laughs> yeah, it's going to go online, and uh, you're going to get spammed with calls, and it's just going to deter people from calling your company, and hopefully, it'll prevent more people from being scammed. Sure, sure, not a problem. You can do that. And just so you know, you connect to a virtual so, machine, so you know none of the stuff you did here is really going to make a difference. Is this a virtual machine? Yes, I don't know how you didn't notice that. But this is not look like a virtual machine. I know it doesn't. But <laughs> when you had a crap cleaner open, it said VMware V Sega. And when you had this auto run thing open, it said VMware tools. I don't know how you didn't catch that, but oh well. But so, do you have anything you want to say? You know, what's the point of this too? Why do you have two support things open? I don't understand the point of that. I don't. I don't get it. What? You have two support things open. What's what's the point of that? I don't understand. Let me show you. Is it going to show me just by clicking out of it? Is that how you're going to show me? It just that doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't get the point. No problem. So are you going to try to say anything, to defend yourself, or are you just going to not? Sorry. Are you going to defend yourself in any way, or you know, like <clears throat> anything? You going to show me where the viruses you removed are? You know where you removed them at? Because I. Kind of curious because this is a freshly. See, you, you know, you know, you know each and everything, right? Yeah, there but... is no way to argue. Right. So why why do you scam people then? What we are not doing any scam. Okay, buddy. so everything you just did was legit. Explain to me what the this anti. Not... Okay, the fine. What is the anti-hacking tool? Show me where you installed an anti-hacking tool. Or that you installed an antivirus. Where did you install an antivirus? All those things you said you're gonna do, and you can delete the documents, but I haven't recorded on a video, so I mean th the proof is still there. I opened it on purpose, so I have it recorded. <laughs> no problem. That will not make any difference, you know. You did last year as well. You said. Yeah, it doesn't make it. I mean, it may not make a difference right now, but eventually, it's gonna catch up to you. How? It'll catch up to you. Every scammer eventually gets caught. And if there's enough complaints and enough people see the video, nobody's going to call you. Sure, no problem. That's fine. That's not a big problem. Okay. And see, we but never, we did, problem, we, we, we did, uh, the whole thing is, we didn't scam anything. We, if, did we take any money from you? It doesn't matter if you're going to take, if you took my money or not, you were lying to me the whole time. You said that there was probably, you went to no, CMD and ran, okay, so going to CMD and running the tree command and typing those viruses on my computer when there isn't. That that's not lying to me and trying to scam me out of my money, trying to tell me that there's something wrong with my computer when there isn't. Just because you don't take my money right away doesn't mean you didn't try to scam me. You try to scam me out of a thousand dollars for simple issues that didn't exist, and literally all you do is install ad blocker and run a couple of cleaning tools. You didn't remove any viruses. You didn't update any drivers. Then you lied to me when I asked you about the stop drive. You said you set them to manual. No, you didn't. Show me how you summed a manual, and if you actually did it, show me how you did it, and show me where show me where the viruses were. Show me what you installed. Show me everything. And then no, you lied about didn't. event viewer. You said that the events and event viewers were infections. Those are normal error in logs. One of them even said VMware tools, but uh, apparently VMware tools right. is an infection. I didn't know that. Apparently that that's an infection. I guess. Oh yeah, yep. just go ahead and exit out of there. Yep. I gotta make sure to report abuse first. I gotta make sure I report abuse. It's already opened up, so I'm just gonna report abuse real quick. So, uh, anything you want to say to people? Why you scam people? Because obviously you know you do it, so and you can't defend yourself. So why do you scam people?
Crickets, crickets. Uh, I mean, you, your parents happy that you scam people? You just wake up every day, just happy as can be, knowing you're scamming a bunch of elderly, elderly people that don't know any better. I'm sure it's a dream job you've always wanted. It's something your parents have always wanted you to uh, do. But, oh well. No, yep, that made me hang up. So after this extremely long-winded video, uh, thank you guys for all sitting through it. Obviously, he had nothing to defend himself with. He lied about a lot of things. I mean, the stuff he installed was very basic. Very, you know, he installed some very ad blockers. That's pretty much it. He lied, didn't do anything he said he was going to do. The anti-hacking tool doesn't exist. He installed some sort of thing that had like a malware or something attached to it. My guess is this is a crap cleaner that he tried to install. It's probably cracked to be the full free or the full version. Um, he lied about everything. He lied about the stop drivers when I asked him about that. He didn't update any drivers. He didn't. He didn't do anything like that. You all saw the video. He didn't update any drivers. Um, he didn't remove any viruses because there aren't any viruses. The most he did was clean up a couple of junk files and install some free things. Mm -hmm.